Hi, Leo. Welcome to your reading, Leo. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. What is important for you at this time? Let's see. Could you please show important messages for Leo? Important messages for Leo. What Leo should know at this time, please, spirit? What Leo should know at this time, please? Important messages for Leo. What do we have for Leo? We have Stormy. Mm -hmm. Could you please show us more? What do we have for Leo? What do we have for the important messages for Leo? We have commitment. Listen. Toxic. Okay. Timing. And at the bottom of the deck, not yet. Okay, so something needs a pa uh, needs your patience, needs needs a careful approach. Here, Leo, spirit is strongly emphasizing here that it's not the right time. The divine timing is quite crucial with regards to this situation. Patience. We have divine timing, patience, not right time, wait. So... Spirit is advising you, Leo, to wait. If you are asking about a specific situation, person, yes, universe, it's saying that it's not the right time. That something needs more time. Something needs more time. Um, listen to your intuition, Leo. You know, I feel very strongly that if you are in a connection, relationship, or if you are facing quite a challenging situation with regards to your connection, okay, I feel that you will be provided with a certain amount of clarity about the situation because something is not quite right here. This is this this but particular combination of cards here it's showing that some sort of commitment that you might be in or it can be about work it can be romantic commitment that you are committed to something spirit is advising that you might spirit is pointing out sorry that something it's not okay here someone is controlling someone is acting in this kind of karmic uh, someone is acting that or, or showing this sort of karmic ways there is some sort of codependency here and I feel that for some of you you might be actually facing some sort of difficulties with regards to your commitment with your person or with um, with regards to your work related matters please take it that it resonates for you Leo Nevertheless, you know, uh, spirit is saying that you are you are providing here with you are provided here with an intuition. Listen to your intuition because I feel Leo that you know some things. You are aware of something, and I feel that you are aware of some toxicity here. And I have to say it because that's what spirit is showing. The other thing is that I feel that there will be a conversation or some sort of. Uh, meeting up there will be you will have not confrontation but I feel that indeed you will talk with someone about the situation someone involved in that com in, in this commitment I feel Leo and also uh, universe it's saying kind of trying to guide you to let them talk let this person talk because they will have a lot to say, okay? But I also feel that they will say something that will essentially bring more clarity to the situation and you will be able to, ju sorry, to judge the situation. Because you already have some sort of information, your inner, inner voice is telling you, you know, it's guiding you. But I feel when this person will come forward, or you will have this conversation, uh, something even more will be revealed to you, and you will have this kind of 
clarity, total clarity and thinking, uh -huh, okay, this is what it is about. That's what I thought, something of this kind. But something here needs time. So spirit is advising you, for instance, if you are going to make some sort of decision about this commitment, about this situation, that it seems to be quite difficult. It's saying to take your time to think it through and to be patient, to wait. Something needs time. There is this divine timing involved very strongly and it's this card not yet. Wait, divine timing, wait, time. Time is of an essence here. So don't rush into do something like a final. Okay, that's, that's at least that's what I am getting here. Of course, we all have free will and we can act the way we feel it's right. But that's just an advice I feel from the cards, from the spirit. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have for you, Leo? What do we have for Leo, please? We have answers. You see, answers are coming, Leo. You will gain. And we have yes. This is very nice because <laughs> if you are actually, you know, thinking about something here and you are requiring thinking about if it's yes or no, it's essentially it's saying here answers yes. Your answer is yes. This is like a thumbs up. It also, it has a small message here for you, Leo. Don't limit yourself by saying no to opportunities that could enrich your life. Okay. It might actually this message resonates with you sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't a perfect answer so nothing it's really black and white nevertheless with those two cards i feel that answer is pretty clear and something the answer is just yes so if you have a specific question the answer is yes okay i know that it's very simple but that's what Essentially, it's shown here. And we have at the bottom of the deck for you, Leo, accepting. that something might need your, ex you know, kind of uh, to be just accepted the way it is. Okay, please take it as it resonates. Okay, let's take a look. I don't know if it's in the frame. Okay. Let's pull some tarot for you, Leo. Let's see. Could you please show important messages for Leo? What Leo needs to know at this time. Okay. We're starting from a massive change. Something ended here, Leo. I feel also you transforming with this with this change. There is I feel your kind of your your own transformation here is, 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 is emphasized. But let's take a look. Could you please show important messages for Leo? We have Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have the Star. We have a King of Wands. We have a Five of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the full card. You see the very strong emphasis on new beginning. Something is changing. I feel, Leo, that whatever has been um, exhausting you or you felt stress, worried, or you felt that you are by your own with all these problems and it's just too much because this card essentially is showing it's too much. I can't carry all this responsibility, this, this, this emotions, whatever the case might be. It's burdening me. It, I, I need, I need a break. It shows Leo that you will drop this, and you will feel this kind of relief with the star card, because we have the death card, which shows that whatever it's stressing you out. And whatever is causing you this anxiety or worry or stress soon will be over. And we have this beautiful card. We have a beautiful star card here, which is a card of healing, of sense of direction, faith, 
faith, sorry, and faith, as, uh, f having a faith, uh, faith, faith as well. <laughs> sorry for my language, Leo. I have strong Scorpio, I have strong Aquarius, also Aries, and I have a fire sign, Leo. So you might be dealing with another Leo, uh, Aries or Sagittarius here. This is an energy I have. Spirit is just overall, you know, it's a very, very clear message here for you, Leo, that your problems soon, that your problems or whatever is causing you this energy of being exhausted and stressed, so that it, it soon will be over and you will welcome, you will welcome to, you will heal from it, okay? With the star card, this is a beautiful energy. Because it shows that you will have a chance to kind of balance things out in your life. And also with the full underneath, you know, at the bottom of the text, I strongly feel that there is this something new is waiting for you. Because tens in tarot also are endings. And the star is this kind of sense of direction. And also intuition with the star. And we have, in, you know, intuition. Listen. Listen to your intuition. So indeed, I feel that something really heavy is ending. And you will feel just this relief. <sighs> Leo, I feel that the whole situation or that particular situation made you feel um, really kind of um, emotionally depleted, okay? This is something that wasn't satisfying you. This is something that was burdening you and also kind of make you feel being left out in a cold with no support, no understanding. I feel that there was something in particular that involving a commitment or another person or another situation but there was this kind of sense of not being on the same same page that's why i feel that you felt very much not being fully understood that your point wasn't taken into consideration and i strongly feel leo that you felt at the end being taken for granted and it can be about anything. It can be indeed about your work-related matters. And it can be about your, you know, romantic matters as well. But this thing, it's ending. And you will welcome, because at the heart we have the star. And the star is this beautiful, rejuvenate kind of energy. This is like a new, beautiful life, really, that you are attracting. Especially at the bottom of the deck with this form. Okay. So let's take a look. What do we have more for Leo, please? Could you please show more important messages for Leo? We have the Emperor. Okay. We have a King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Justice, and we have Nine of Wands. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have a Seven of Wands here. Mm -hmm. Leo, you may be dealing with Aries. I have strong Libra energy also. I also have a strong Earth, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel, Leo, that um, you're attracting stability, you're taking back control, and I also feel that you will be in a quite good position when it comes to your finances, okay? There is a sense of recognition, there is a sense of acknowledgement for your efforts, for your work, and also the Six of Pentacles shows in that sort of kind of way that there is if you need some sort of support in the form of, of 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 finances or whatever the case might be it doesn't have to be because pentacles is just energy but if there is a need in general of support emotional support uh, 
cards are showing that th there are people, a particular individual, who is willing to give you that support. I strongly feel that um, <sighs> you're attracting someone who, if you're single, Leo, there is a new person showing up for you. This person, it's showing as a divine, uh, divine masculine energy. Okay, but this is energy, so take it that it resonates. We are all a mixture of divine feminine and divine masculine energy. But this is someone who has, um, who is very rational, who is very fair. This is nicely aspected energy. The emperor, the king of pentacles, six of pentacles justice this is someone who has a lot to offer and who has a lot can bring to the table that kind of energy of a good character stable character who might be very good with money and there is the sense of justice but i feel leo that for some of you you um still not fully kind of will be um um trusting this situation because I still feel that for some of you you are facing some sort of uh, challenges when it comes to your commitment or your situation okay and I feel that you 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 might you might see it from this perspective that it has to be first resolved in order to kind of for you to focus on something else but spirit is emphasizing here that you have someone who is willing to give you support, who, who, who is very open to listen to you and who is very much interested in you. You know, very strongly I feel that. I can tell you, Leo, that something will, balance, will be, will be uh, resolved in a fair way because I see that there is this kind of a difficult energy attached to the seven of wands nine of wands i feel that there is something still that you don't trust that you have your reservations and um i feel that for most of the time when it comes to that particular situation you had to prove yourself that you have a case for instance that um let's say um you wanted a long-term commitment with someone and someone was no committal and you felt like, you know, you, you, you've been some sort of under emotion, some sort of kind of a attack, I, I mean emotional attack, as, as you had to protect your views, you had to justify your views. This is like defending your position with regards to something that it's really important for you. And I feel that there, there still might be a case for some of you. That's why you might be not fully kind of ready for this um, energy it's not that you are not ready but I feel that you want to make you want to approach a new situation in the right way that's why we have maybe this time these cards of timing and wait that your approach is good that you are not rushing into things because you want to first you know kind of close off certain cycles a certain certain um situations and that's why i've opened the reading with the death card which shows the endings and also uh, this energy of new beginnings represented by the fool at the bottom of the deck so i feel that your approach it's 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 fairly it's is very wise here leo you there is a justice you, you you will get your justice whatever the case might be let's take a look at your love life could you please show us some messages what leo needs to know at this time with regards to their love life too many please leo's love life we have the hanged man we have a queen of swords wheel of fortune who wanted to show up i've seen it temperance very pretty very nice and at the bottom of the deck, we have two of swords. This is the stalemate energy with the two of swords. 
Mm-hmm. Leo, if there, if there is a particular situation in your love life that you feel that things are stagnant, that nothing is moving, that is just some sort of kind of a, just something is stuck and you can't really make a progression in anything, I feel that things will be put in motion, okay, with the will of fortune. Leo, you might be dealing with the fixed sign, so I have another Leo, I have Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, I have Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy, we have few signs here indeed, and also an Aquarius, strong Aquarius, Libra again, Gemini. I feel, Leo, that you are indeed, I feel in this mode of uh, trying to see a certain situation from a different perspective. But I feel that you are gaining your clarity with a Queen of Swords. And I feel that your energy is very much, I don't have time to waste and I don't want any more of BS. I'm done with it. I am just done. I want new. And <laughs> the temperance card is this divine timing card indeed and we have will of fortune leo whatever the case may be and if you are indeed now in that kind of stalemate stalemate with regards to your situation or stalemate with another person because there might be a case that if you are dealing with with some sort of uh, with another person and it is a no contact situation or this person acts detached or it's a stalemate i feel leo that things will be happening but naturally you don't need to force them i feel you will make a certain decision this decision will be based on your logic and how you see the situation because clarity is coming about something here that might be very challenging and spirit is saying it will be resolved in, in its own time. You don't need to force anything because you have will of fortune and temperance. This is this is essentially, you know, destiny. The things will play out the way they, they, they should for your higher good. With the two of swords, I feel it is something to do with decision. You might be at the crossroads. For some of you, you might be deciding about certain commitment with regards to your work, sorry, love, love life. You might be thinking, you know, I need to make a certain decision once and for all. And it wouldn't surprise me because you are embracing this queen of swords energy, which is very kind of straight to the point. And she's aware that at some point she will have to make a decision. And we have this two of swords. So you might be facing this 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 you might be at the crossroads thinking about what i what should i do and i feel that you might be even kind of uh, waiting uh, uh different scenarios with regards to how you would you know oh, i don't know how to say it Leo, how you would uh what in oh, how you would decide so for instance if you decide that way what might happen or if i decide the other way that might happen that this kind of double-edged sword situation rep is represented by the two of swords and i strongly feel leo that that, that 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 there is something that you are heavily thinking about you're trying to look at this from a different perspective and you're coming from the place of logic you know i feel you put so much heart into it but now I feel you, you strongly might be feeling that it's time to take aside feelings and to use uh, reality and logic, how the things really are. And there will be a conversation, Leo. You will have a conversation with that person and something you will gain a massive clarity about it. And I feel because of that, something will just naturally put in motion that situation or the result of it you, the, the thing is that you don't need to force anything here 
Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Show us advice, please, for Leo. What Leo needs to know. What Leo needs to know. What is important? What is an advice? Give us advice for Leo, please. Advice for Leo. Advice for Leo. We have the Fool. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Aries, Aquarius energy. And we have Two of Wands. New beginning, Leo. You have a new beginning. Something ended here. And, it's, and, and it ended. Spirit is saying... And we have strong emphasis throughout this reading about endings and new beginning. It says that you indeed might have invested a lot in a certain situation. But something just ended. And it's time for a new beginning. So the advice is to detach from something that that needs to stay in the past even if you even if you are if you if you if you invested a lot of time because you have something really beautiful on the horizon here waiting for you again seven of pentacles dear also it's this card of patience so spirit is advising whatever the case might be be patient take time don't force anything because something will naturally reach its own completion okay essentially and that completion will will force a completely new beginning represented by the fall where you will be able to just undertake this false you know false journey as journey as as it's represented by this card you will you will enter a completely there is something better here waiting on the horizon for you. Two of Wands is, is this card of planning, strategizing, you know, having dreams, aspirations, and also acknowledgement. I feel that there is a completely new chapter to be revealed to you. But something indeed might need time, not yet wait. We have those cards. Divine timing here, it's an essence, because you don't need to force those things. Certain things would just will reach their natural completion. You don't need to force it. And this new beginning very much will initiate uh, a completely new chapter in your life, which which I feel will be very, which will bring so much new and beautiful energy, Leo. It's very nice, actually, energy. Okay, let's let's pull some advice from spirit. What do we have? Could you please show advice for Leo, please? We have dream, follow your yearning for the deep blue sea. <laughs> Essentially, it's saying follow your dream. Whatever you're dreaming about, it's it's worth you know focusing on. Because I feel very strongly that certain dreams or your plans will be soon within reach for you. What do we have more for Leo, please? We have boundaries. Put a ring around yourself and your energies. We have boundaries. So it's important to, put, to have a healthy boundaries for you at this time okay let's pull one more for you Leo what do we have spirit for Leo blushing bright your intentions and heart deserve to be known beautiful card you deserve all the best Leo dream big because something beautiful is on the horizon, especially represented by this two of wands. 
Thank you very much for being with me, Leo. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope that this reading was of help. I wish you all the very best. And once again, thank you so very much for being with me. I truly appreciate you. Thank you, Leo. Take care. Bye.